down. Good morning, everybody. I'm Nikki Stanzione. And I'm the face of Fox, Elias Gallegos, in for Kristen Van Dyke. And this is New Mexico style, and it's Friday. Yes, it is. I don't want to work. <laughs> I want to bang on the face of all day. This actually um, sounds like a little tambourine, so. Okay. It's very Friday. Listen, speaking of music, remember what I was telling you yesterday, and I don't know if you guys saw this, but Jimmy Fallon did a one-hour special <laughs> about uh, all the musical skits he's done in the last <laughs> year on his show. So I was telling Elias about it, and I sent him the clips. I said, you have to watch this because what he, very funny. he's genius. <laughs> what he does is he does these impressions, but he has the artist Which one? singing. Jim, Jim Morrison? Well, like he did, he does them, has them doing a TV theme song in the style of the artist. So he did the door. So do, uh -huh. do the Jim Morrison one. But to fly in the sky, <laughs> I can go twice as high. <laughs> He did that. Then he did. Then he did. Um, uh, Bob Dylan. I'm not doing that. Bob Dylan doing Charles in Charge, and he did. Oh, and then he slow jammed the news. He slow jammed the news with mm -hmm. Barack Obama, and then he also. The POTUS. Did, oh yes, the POTUS, President of the United States, and he also did uh, a lot of great Neil Young ones. I'm telling you, go to YouTube, guys. This is my advice for the weekend. If you want a good laugh, go to YouTube. Look up Jimmy Fallon skits. Hysterical. Happy birthday, Irene. Oh, and, I, and Irene, happy birthday as well. Yeah. Okay, now let's get into some really yeah. amazing world news. This is exciting. Big Bang, Big Bang, Big Ben rang in the start of the 2012 Olympic Games, and that began today in London. So excited. Crowds gathered in Parliament Square to watch Big Ben chime for three minutes, many chiming in with their very own bells. Olympic organizers say that today marks the first time Big Ben has rung outside its regular schedule since 1952. That's amazing. I know, right? Britain's Queen Elizabeth will officially launch the start of the Games at tonight's opening ceremony. I can't believe it's tonight. If you miss any of the action, you can catch up with your favorite athletes on Comcast Xfinity. And by the way, that is a little tongue twister. Big Ben, <laughs> Big ben rang in. Say that three times So fast. I'm guessing that the track team doesn't need me because I didn't get my invite. You didn't get your invite? Oh, we'll have to well, talk maybe to Maybe Elizabeth knows something. Maybe four years down the road we'll have a different change. Let's check in with KRQB News 13 anchor Elizabeth Alvarez. Good morning, Elizabeth. Hey, good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Go USA. Yeah, USA. Yeah. Right? Of course. No. So exciting. All right. So it is Friday. Let's get straight to your morning headlines because we do have a lot of news to get through. Uh, we begin this morning talking about a deadly plane crash. This one a tragic one. We should learn more about this deadly plane crash involving a former Olympian who calls Albuquerque home. Pat Porter was a two-time Olympian. He ran the 10,000 meters back in 1984 and 88 and was considered to be one of the greatest U.S. distance runners of all time. Yesterday morning, a small plane believed to be owned and flown by Porter plunged hundreds of feet into a ravine in Sedona, Arizona, then burned. An employee at the Double Eagle Airport right here in Albuquerque tells News 13 that Porter left on Sunday with his 15-year-old son Connor and his son's friend, both Albuquerque Academy students. Of course, we will stay on top of this story. We're following it closely and uh, bring you any new developments as we have them. In one hour, the community says goodbye to a popular fire chief who died in a terrible crash this week. The public memorial for Sandoval County Fire Chief John Tibbetts will start at 9 a.m. at the Santa Ana Star Center. Tibbetts died on Monday morning after a car hit his SUV on I-25. Tibbetts had been with the Sandoval County Fire Department for about eight years. He was 59 years old. We will have full coverage of his funeral for uh, the Sandoval County's fire chief here later on on KRQE News 13 as well as online. The push is on to get voters to agree to rebuild the Paseo del Norte I-25 interchange. Albuquerque Mayor R.J. Berry and Governor Susana Martinez spoke about it and unveiled the design yesterday. They say the $50 million bond issue on the November ballot is going to be well worth it. That money is in addition to the $30 million the state is pitching in and the $5 million bond issue that's on the ballot for Bernalillo County voters. Now, if voters overall approve the bonds, construction would start as soon as next summer and be finished in late 2014 or early 2015. More arrests are expected here in New Mexico as well as in across the country, all having to do with big synthetic drug busts, a drug bust that had been going on. Uh, DEA seized, along with its federal and state and local partners, seized more than 4 million packages of spice, uh, arrested more than 75 people. 
Spice, in case you don't know, is a synthetic form of marijuana. It is illegal. The crackdown was called Operation Logjam. Albuquerque, Rio Rancho, Roswell, and Las Cruces were in the mix. Agents raided about 15 homes and businesses and arrested four people. And again, more arrests are pending. The streets aren't the only place kids find drugs. Sometimes they find them at home. Yeah, it's a shocking reality. Right. You'll start Thank to hear so. more of that you very soon. Know, it's Albuquerque so Mayor R.J. Berry's new PSA, which you just heard, to stop teens from abusing prescription yeah. drugs, yeah. which is a big problem. The PSA is called Safeguard My Meds, and it tells people how to store and get rid of their prescriptions. To find out more about this, you can always head to li news links at krqe.com. Lastly, I love this story, I gotta say. A New Mexico couple making headlines this morning for saving three cubs. You gotta take a look at this video here. Shirley Shank and her husband heard the cubs crying in the night a couple of weeks ago right outside the Rudoso home. Check this out. The cubs belong to a well-known neighborhood bear, and they somehow got trapped inside this dumpster here. So the Shanks show up with a truck and a ladder. The couple says that they've had to do this already a few times to help them get the cubs out because the cubs have figured out how to open the latched lids. Look at them go. Those little rascals. Let me tell you, they're pretty smart. Love that video. All right, that wraps it up for your Friday morning headlines. Be sure to catch Matt Morrow, Kristen Van Dyke, and me every weekday morning on KRQE News 13, beginning at 4.30 a.m. Aaliyah, Nikki, back to you. <laughs> Elizabeth, you? no footage of Goldilocks? <laughs> no, Where's right? the porridge? Right? I know. That's, that, that's I adorable. love that story. Thanks, yeah. Elizabeth. Have a good weekend. Me too. So cute. Yeah, my encounter with a bear was in Alaska, and it was not that fun. I can promise you that much. That's, we'll save that for a rainy day. In the meantime, Elias. Yes. What are your weekend plans? Anything good? Yes. No, no. actually, I'm golfing this weekend. Oh, you are? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to be talking Michael about Kusana, that. Stephen Michael he knows a little bit about that, I think. Yeah, that's coming up in a little while on the show as well. But I think I'm going to sleep a lot. But another thing that's great to do is the mm -hmm. fact that Santa Fe's Spanish market begins today. And all weekend, it will showcase the unique culture and traditions of the region's first European settlers. This weekend marks the 61st anniversary of the annual Spanish market which is the oldest and largest of its kind in the United States. It's yeah. amazing. If you haven't been there, go. Yeah, it, it's, I mean, we had them on the show talking about it. I mean, look at the art and the intricacies and the details, and these artists work so hard all year just to even get into and get accepted to be a part of Spanish Market, which is going to be taking place on the Santa Fe Plaza. And for more details, you can visit SpanishColonial.org. Org. Really worthwhile thing to do. Yes. I've been, you know, I went to Folk Art Market with our producer Kristen two weeks ago, and that was spectacular. I can only imagine this will be amazing as well. Well, the thing about Spanish Market is that it's a generational thing, you mm -hmm. know, from grandfather to, to grandson. Typically, they all are, all, the whole family usually That's are nice. artists, and it, it's a tradition that's carried on for. Aww. Thousands of years. That makes it even more years. special. I like that. Well, and another thing going on is the Youth a National Arabian and Half Arabian Championship Horse Show. We talked about that yesterday. It's actually underway at Expo New Mexico and features top level horse show competition. This year's horse show featured a thousand horses from across the United States and Canada competing in a wide variety of disciplines, and the finals continue today. Nice. And those kids, I'll tell you, they worked so hard. For more details, you can visit ArabianHorses.org. Org. The girl that we had on the show uh, yesterday when we showed the package, I want her to win. I liked her. You did like her. <laughs> she was just so excited and passionate about what she does. And yeah. I mean, they just take so much pride. And of course, it's, you know, it's a team effort. It's their horse and themselves. So no matter how hard they work, they have to also trust in yeah. that animal. As much you know? as it's a physical, educational thing, it, there's a lot of science in the application of maintaining, caring, and, and like they said, the different disciplines of these horses. Absolutely. And they're beautiful too. And they're so. beautiful too, so definitely check that out. Now, meteorologist John Smith has your weekend forecast in just a few minutes, but rain or shine, a movie is always a good idea. I agree. And here's Fox's Ashley Dvorkin with what's new in theaters. There's plenty of funny business going on in this neighborhood. Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, and Jonah Hill go on the watch, playing a group of guys who protect their suburban neighborhood from alien invaders. What's your poison? You down with scotch? I ain't no poison. Scotch and yes. No, no, no. Scotch and yes? No. Scotch and yes! Naturally, a plot penned by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg, the writing duo behind both Superbad and Pineapple Express.
Break out your best dance moves alongside Step Up Revolution. The latest installment in the two-stepping franchise is set in Miami and includes the spontaneous world of flash mobs. All you So You Think You Can Dance fans will recognize some of the film's stars, like Catherine McCormick and Stephen Twitch Boss. There's a storm coming, Mr. Wayne. Following last week's tragedy at the Colorado screening of The Dark Knight Rises, the film goes into its second week of release. The final chapter of Christopher Nolan's Batman story still has fans heading to theaters. The movie has already topped the $200 million mark domestically. Hold me! Currently hanging on to the number two spot is the family-friendly animated 3D option Ice Age Continental Drift. Oh, shit, no! Yeah, that's a little salty. In New York, Ashley Dvorkin, Fox News. I really want to go to the movies. You saw some good movies yourself, yes. right? What did you, which ones did Batman. you see? You the, saw the Batman. The new Batman movie. It, it's it really incredible. Uh, it's my favorite. Well, the first one's my favorite, and then, then close yeah. second, the Is third. It? Yeah. I need to get out and see that. I want to see Step Up. You know, <laughs> that's really what, what set Channing Tatum over the limit, and that's what really started his career, believe it or not. And um, as you saw in that package, a lot of the So You Think You Can Dance contestants made it into that movie. So that show has really taken yeah, all of them. Stuff like this would have maybe never happened for, for these young artists. Exactly, and they're so talented. I'm, <laughs> have I mentioned that, by the way, this week, that So You Think You Can Dance is a great show? I'll mention it again. <laughs> In the meantime, hopefully you get a chance to head out to the movies this weekend, lots of good stuff. And maybe a good weekend for it, because it's a little humid out. It's got a little Florida in the <laughs> yes, air right is. now. Let's check in with our friend, John Smith, and find out what to expect. Our favorite meteorologist.